Hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Um, today's video is going to be just a step-by-step -step on how I color my hair at home. My hair right now is a red color. Um, you guys, I have basically had every single hair color that there is. I've had blonde, brown, red, um, magenta, black. I mean, basically every color that there is. So I wanna show you guys how to do a really nice, even hair color at home by yourself, obviously. Uh, you guys, I am a licensed cosmetologist, so I will just try to make it as easy as possible for you guys to follow along with me and get that really good looking hair color. This is for, you know, girls and guys out there that have brown hair, dark brown hair, and black hair. I'm going to be using the high color. Um, it's by L'Oreal and then also the L'Oreal Chroma color. I mix a couple different colors together to get the color that I, you know, have right now. So it's up to you guys if you want to use the exact same color I'm using. If you're going to use a different color, that's fine. So basically this is just kind of a step-by-step -step as far as how to do that. Um, you know, obviously coloring your hair is never good for it. So this is going to take out that bleaching process altogether. So you're going right into just coloring your black hair into, you know, getting this nice red color or coloring your dark brown hair or whatever. If you have blonde hair color and you're going to go ahead and dye your hair red, make sure that you are not using the uh, L'Oreal Chroma or the L'Oreal High Color. That is for dark hair only, you guys. That's gonna damage your hair. You do not have to use something that's strong if you have blonde hair already because that blonde hair is gonna go ahead and soak up whatever color you choose. So uh, follow this video and if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. Okay guys, so I am ready to go. What you are going to need is a color bowl, a color brush, and then I have the 10 developer. It's up to you guys what you wanna use for a developer. My hair is already colored, you guys. Um, I try to be as gentle on it as possible, so I am only going to use a 10 developer. You can, of course, use 20, 30, 40, but ooh, be very careful, you guys. Know what you're doing if you're gonna use more than a 10. Um, I would only do like 20 or 30 even if you're gonna bleach your hair. So I would suggest if your hair is colored like mine, darker, and you're gonna be using either the high color or the chroma to just use 10. I think that's gonna be plenty. Um, obviously a brush, clips, and then since we're doing red, definitely you're gonna need gloves. Um, I'm gonna switch out my glasses right away because I do not want to use my good glasses for this. So pop these old puppies on. Okay, guys, anyway, so I never ever use the same color twice. I shouldn't say that, I, I use the same color, I just never use the same color combination twice. I never just use one color, I always kind of mix and match. Um, so today, you guys, I think I'm going to use some of this Red Hot right here, which I think I'm actually going to use the whole tube of this because I do want it to be pretty red. So, <clears throat> and this comes with like a little intensifier. So I'm going to use this whole tube here first. This is the high color L'Oreal, um, red color, Red Hot, and this is for dark hair only. So I'm going to go ahead and open this, pop the end open. I'll squirt it in my bowl here. Get that whole thing out, and then I'm gonna add the intensifier. Okay, so that whole thing is in there. Open the intensifier here. Just like hardcore red. I better save the lid, I'll show you guys here. So I have the intensifier in. Put the lid on this before I throw her in the trash. Um, and then you guys, I'm gonna do, I did just buy Red Violet. Um, I also have um, Chroma Sangria and Chroma Cheyenne. And I think you guys, I think I'm actually gonna stick with the, the Red Reds today. So I think I'm gonna do the Chroma Cheyenne. And this one. Maybe I'll, I wonder if I should do half and half. Maybe I'll do half a Chroma Cheyenne and half Chroma Sangria because I don't think I'm gonna need like the full tube of each. So I'll squirt some Chroma Cheyenne in there. And you guys, again, it's completely up to you guys what you wanna use for color. Um, if you just wanna choose one color, you certainly can. If you wanna mix it like I am, you can do that as well. Okay, so I'll do that. I'm gonna go into the color sangria. Squirt some of that in here. And actually, you know what, you guys, I think I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna squirt the whole thing in. I do not want to run out of color halfway through my hair and then have to try to do this mixture again because obviously I'm not measuring. 
Um, so I'm just gonna squirt the rest of this in there. Um, you guys, with this, it is going to be one to two as far as the mixture. So let's say you're using one ounce of the color itself. You wanna mix this to two ounces of the developer. So it's one to two. So let's say you're using four ounces of this, mix it to eight ounces of this. Okay, so I have these in my bowl here. And you guys, I, I am a cosmetologist. I know I should be measuring, but I am not. Um, I have always just kind of winked it, which is what I'm going to be doing now as well. So if you have never done this before, I would say don't wing it, you guys. Try to measure. Um, so that you kind of have an idea of what's going on. Okay, so here's my color. I'm gonna pour this in. And I can kind of tell by the texture, um, or I should say the consistency of this when I'm done mixing it up. I'll show you guys here when I'm done, kind of what you want to see. That red intensifier really makes it red, otherwise it would not be turning red this fast, you guys. So if you chose um, a color that didn't have the red intensifier, don't worry that it's not gonna look this red. It might look kind of white still. It will turn red in your hair still, I promise. Mixing this puppy up. Okay, so here's my consistency. It's not super runny, but it's not super thick either. So again, if you've never done this before, please just measure it out. It'll be much easier that way. So I'm put this away. So now what I'm gonna do, you guys, is take my hair out of the ponytail. I'm gonna brush it through. And I'm gonna section it. So I'm gonna section my hair into four quadrants. So one, two, three, four. So the first ones are gonna be the front. So I'm gonna go kind of right here, the crown of your head. Go down to the back of my ear. If you guys normally have your hair parted like to the side, you can definitely leave it parted to the side. That way you know that you're getting that root really good. I part my hair. Um, all over the place. I'll switch sides, do it in the middle. So I'm just going to leave it in the middle. So clip up the first section. Go over here again. The crown of my head. Section over. Clip this up. And then for the back. Straight down, clip a section over, okay so I'm going to be starting with this section right here and what we're going to do you guys I'm going to go through and do all of the new growth first and then I'll go through and get the rest of the hair. So I'm gonna pop my gloves on. Um, if you guys are worried about this getting on your skin, you can go ahead and add like conditioner around, or I guess you could do shampoo too, I would suggest conditioner, but um, you can go ahead and put that around your face and your ears. So again, if you're worried about it staining, because it definitely will if you're super messy, go ahead and put that conditioner around your ears, the whole back of your head, and you'll be good to go. Here I go, I'm gonna just start here, you guys. Grab some with my brush. And I'm just going to start on the bottom here. Now you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do sections. So I'm gonna work from the top down. So what I'm gonna do is go about, I would say maybe half an inch sections. So I'm gonna start right here, take the first section, keep this hair up on top of my head, and I'm gonna go do the new growth here. Take the first 
take another section. So I have the new girl fold done. So now what I'm gonna do is actually just go through and get in the hair here. So with this, you guys, since I'm doing it myself, there really isn't any super easy way to do this. So I'm just gonna start at the top and I'm actually just gonna kind of go through the hair like this and kind of pull it through with my other hand. Make sure to kind of work it in so that um, you're getting all of the hair. You don't wanna miss anything. And then grab another section. I'm not going to do each individual section like I parted. I'm going to go a little bit thicker than that just because I know I can handle a little bit more than that. Then you want to make sure to get the ends. You can see my ends are still kind of dry there. Okay, so I have this section done, you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and stick it to my head here. If you want to clip that section up, you certainly can. Now, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and do this section all a little bit faster so you don't have to watch this whole thing again. So here I go. So I have the whole back done, so now I'm going to move on to the sides. So we'll start here with this side. Take my clip out, brush through my hair. And again, I'm going to go ahead and start with the new growth. So I'm just going to go around. I already got my forehead right there. Can you guys see that big blob? Whoopsies. At the very end, I'm going to take off my glasses and do around the glasses. I do not want to take them off yet because I don't want to get red on my glasses and then have to wear them the whole time since I have red all over my gloves, so. Go to the next layer here. So I have that. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put it in my hair. At the salon, you guys, I would go through and do like each individual layer this way. But since I'm doing it myself, I just kind of blob it in. I trust myself to make sure that I get it everywhere. And it's way easier for me to do it this way myself. So do whatever makes you guys feel comfortable. Getting the ends there. Got 
up that section. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the last section here. So I have it all over you guys. I'm going to pop off my glasses now and get this hair by my ears that I did not get yet. Once I'm done with this, you guys, all I'm going to do is go around my whole head with a wipe or a wet cloth and get all that red off of my ears and my skin. If you have more hair color left, you guys, what you can do is put some in your hand and then just go through your hair one more time. Just kind of spread it in. Make sure you get everything. My hair was already red, so it's not gonna make a huge difference, but if you're going from like black or something to this, definitely make sure you get it everywhere. Okay, so here I have it, you guys. I am gonna let this sit on for 25 minutes, and then I'm gonna check it and see where we're at. Um, I could maybe do 30, but I think for my hair, 25 is going to be perfect. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so it has been 25 minutes, so you can kind of see how red it is now. I do think this is kind of the um, shade I was going for, so I am going to go ahead and rinse my hair out, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so here's what it looks like. Um, I am going to go ahead and style this up and fix my makeup, and I will show you guys what it looks like. Okay, hey guys, so here is the final product. Here is what the red looks like. And you guys, my hair feels actually pretty healthy. I use um, like a leave-in type of conditioner normally when I'm in the shower after I color my hair. And then other than that, I'll use it like once a week. So keep that in mind. Um, I would suggest using leave-in conditioner after you color your hair for sure. And then, you know, once, twice a week, depending on how dry your hair is. If it's in pretty good condition, you could even maybe do like once every couple of weeks. So just keep that in mind. My hair, I color a lot, so it's pretty dry. And it used to be blonde which does not help out at all. So um, yeah, here is the red. If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know below. If you guys like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And until the next one, thank you guys.